going to do a quick tutorial on how to use Fiddler Web Debugger because I know that a lot of you might still be having trouble using it. <clears throat> I changed my browser from Fiddler to, or from Firefox to Chrome because I was having trouble. So if you have Firefox that works too, but Chrome works as well. So we're going to go ahead and open up Fiddler. We're going to use the latest database that is downloaded from another website, which I'll put in the description. <clears throat> so with Fiddler is open first. You're going to make sure that you don't have any of these boxes under the autoresponder tab ticked. You're going to enable automatic responses, permit pass through for unmatched request, and that is under autoresponder again. So you're going to be looking at this side. So let's load Pet Society. Every ending to each file you're going to find is going to end with dot dat. So if you have trouble seeing it, you can always pull this over more so you can see it. And it just takes a minute to come up. Okay, so here's the first one. It says database.dat. You're going to right click, copy, just URL, and you're going to click add. And it's going to show up down here where rule editor is. And then you're going to go to this pull down menu, and you should have this file that I'm replacing this with download already from the website. So be sure that you have that downloaded first before doing anything else. You're going to click the first one that says database. It's a DAT file, so you're going to open that, and it's going to show up here, and you're going to click Save. Next thing we're going to look for is collaborative items. Not um, This doesn't always show up in every file that you may download from these websites for database files, but um, in this case, this one is. So you're going to copy this one, right-click Copy, just URL again, Add, and it shows up here. All this is while PS is loading. Find file again. And there's a collaborative items dat file. And then you're going to click save. Please sit down. Next, you're going to find shop mystery dot dat. These numbers here, just so you know, always change. So that means if they've changed here and you got a different or an old database file downloaded, it may not always work. So keep um, up checking for updates on this website that I'll, again I will put in the description. Kaden, please sit down. Sorry, I have my child sitting here. Copy just URL again. And you click add. It's going to show up. Kaden, I asked you to sit down. You're going to sh find shop mystery. You're going to click save. And then after that, you're going to clear cache, cache, or cache, whatever you want to say. Then you're going to minimize that and reload Pet Society. If you don't behave, you're going to go to bed. Okay, so Pet Society is loading. Um, sometimes, if you can't find the database.dat files in um, Fiddler at the time, it may be because you need to clear your cache on your web browser or clear your history. So make sure that you do that too. Sometimes that will, well, actually, most of the time that will heal the pro uh, process of not being able to find the database files that you need. Uh, pardon the slow down upload here, but it's uh, just the way it is.
specifically I'm making this video for my golden angels. You guys are also awesome. <clears throat> that's done, you're going to go to the mystery shop. And there you'll see all these changes there. And you're going to see all the files that we uploaded in here. So here's the new mystery items. They are going to be disguised as mystery boxes. There's also the sodas that are going to be for next week. And then there's the older items if you need to get those. Most of these are already worth uh, $9.99 when you cash them in. Okay, so there's also uh, the thrones. There are 150 for a win or lose box. Be careful on cashing those in because uh, I don't know if you're going to get a save failed for that. There's also the new wig dies here. The blue and the white. Okay? So that'll be it, and hopefully my tutorial explained a little bit more in depth for you. Thank you.